Hola, hello, and see us. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Currently, it is Monday morning here, and I really want to get into my fitness planner um, and set up my fitness program for the coming week. So I'm using a tie dye fitness planner from the Happy Planner, and um i'm ready to get back into here because last week was kind of a struggle this was last week um this is the current week it's currently monday i'm gonna set up this spread in this video but before i get into that just quickly wanted to review what happened last week um what i achieved what i didn't achieve so this week was really, really ambitious. I was feeling good. I was feeling ready to launch into an ambitious workout program. And then Thursday morning, I woke up and I had my period. Super, super unfortunate. Um, and my flow was pretty heavy until Saturday. And so I was not working out. I was not working out at all. Saturday and Sunday, I started feeling a little bit better, but still not totally 100%. And I just decided to chill out. And so all of this fitness program went to the wayside. So um, Monday, um, so this week was a little bit difficult because I didn't start planning until Wednesday morning. I didn't get into my fitness planner until Wednesday morning. So I didn't really have any plans for Monday and Tuesday. Monday, I did run a little over a mile, 1.21, and then I walked for 40 minutes, but that was it. And then Tuesday, I walked twice. That was it. Wednesday, I was starting to get back into it. I ran 2.78 miles. I stretched for 15 minutes, my front split stretch. And then I did a core workout for 15 minutes. So that was Monday through Wednesday. I did hit um, over 10,000 steps Monday through Wednesday. So I was 13,000, 10,000, and then 13,000 again. Wasn't super good with stretching or hydrating. So these are areas I really need to focus on this week. Um, I feel like stretching. I haven't really been stretching and then hydrating. I think I've been drinking about a liter every day, which is only about half of what I want to be drinking. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, okay, so Thursday through Sunday, I had big plans of running three times, tons of workouts. Thursday, I had my period. I was not <laughs> started my period. I was not at all in the mood or physical state to work out. So I walked just an 18 minute walk on Thursday, um, 11,000 steps though. I was walking around. I did manage to walk around a, a bit. So hit my 10,000 steps. Friday, I walked three walks. Actually, I think I walked four walks on Friday. I think I'm missing one here. 13,000 steps. Saturday, um, I walked three walks. And then Saturday and Sunday, um, I combined the walks because I didn't have enough room here. Um, I walked three times over Saturday and Sunday. And then I also did a little, probably one and a half mile little hike in a local park. So I have my hiking sticker here. And I did hit 10,000 steps Thursday through Sunday. So 11,000, 13,000, 16,000, and 11,000. So I'm proud about that. But um, I'm ready to move on. So let's flip to the new week. I'm feeling a lot better now. My period is definitely slowing down. It's on its last legs now and I'm feeling better. Still feeling a little bloated, a little bit tender in my, you know, core area, but I'm pretty sure I can run and work out now. So let me lay down some washi tape. I'm going to use this fruit and veggie washi tape here for the um, Fitbit stat trackers. I kind of want to use this up here as well in the like where I place my running trackers. So let's do that. Let's start off with the running tracker stickers. I have four. Let's shoot for four runs. I'm trying to shoot for five runs, but because this week is coming out of my period, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break and try to shoot for four runs starting today. And I'm going to be using these smaller stickers and not my larger running tracker stickers, um, like these guys, like this size. These are the larger sizes. These are the smaller sizes. I like using these mini ones for like anything 
under two miles and then this one kind of between three miles and two miles. So um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a grace. If I want to run just a mile, a mile and a half, I will allow myself. And these smaller stickers um, are going to give me that grace. But, you know, I could use these stickers for any length. So if I run four miles, then I'll be able to use these still. Okay, Wednesday, I'm going to run as well. Wednesday. And then, oh, let me lay down some more washi tape. I like using this washi tape for my meal planner because it is a, a food. But I think this washi tape goes well with fitness as well because fitness and nutrition go hand in hand. And I've always been pretty good with working out. Um, I can work out pretty easily. I do enjoy working out. I like doing it, but um, it's the nutrition <laughs> I struggle with a little bit. I like my sweets a little too much. Okay, so Friday, we're going to run again. So I'm going to run Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Like so. Perfect. So that's four times. Okay, and then I am going to stretch on Monday today, and it's going to be a huge priority. So I'm going to give myself this massive 15-minute leg stretch sticker. Like, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. I keep on putting it off, and I need to do it. And that's all that's going to happen for Monday. I'm going to keep it short and sweet and simple. Okay, Tuesday. Let's get into strength workouts. So I need some boxes. Ooh, I like these stickers right here. These workout log stickers. Um, I'm going to put this one right here. And uh, grab my... Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, so Tuesday, I want to do abs. And it's going to be 15 minutes. And I also want to do arms. So I'm going to put this one maybe like right here. And this is going to be 20 minutes. And then Wednesday, I'm going to go for a run. But I'm also going to do legs and booty. And this is going to be, I think, a 20-minute workout. Oh, let me lay down some Fitbit stat stickers here before I forget about them. Oh, you can't really see the beautiful like washi tape behind them, but that's okay. There we go. And then for Thursday, let's see. Thursday, I'm going to get back into my abs. So abs, 20 minutes. And then also... I want to do arms again. Arms. Um, and this time I'll do 15 minutes. So last time I did 15 and 20. And now I'm doing 20 and 15. Okay, Friday I'm going to stretch. I'm going to prioritize stretching. So another big ass sticker here. 15 minute leg stretch. And I also want to do a kettlebell workout. So kettlebell for 15 minutes. And then Saturday, I kind of want to go on a hike, and I want to go on a long hike. So, I'm going to cut out one of these hiking stickers, maybe have it here. So, I'm going to actually leave it kind of flexible about whether Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to hike Saturday or Sunday, hopefully Saturday, because on Sunday I do want to run as well. And then on Saturday... I want to do a full body workout. Full body workout for 30 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> I have a lot of energy. I think I need to work it out. Okay, and that is what I'm going to do this week. I think it's a solid plan, very ambitious. But again, um, I like to shoot for really ambitious goals. I'm kind of in a rush right now. Um, I want to go to campus to work. Um, so I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time decorating this week. I mean, I'll do it maybe like when I get home or something. But in this video, um, I just kind of wanted to map out what my fitness program is this week. So I know what I want to do today, Monday. 
And I think the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my fitness trackers again using my mild liners. So I'm going to keep track of um, 10K steps. I want to hit my 10K steps every day um, and then stretching, five minute stretching, and then also two liter hydration trackers. So I am going to set this up. Okay, there we go. I set up my habit trackers, my little happy workout reward system, and I'm, I always leave the space up here to journal. And I think the last thing that I wanted to do before I call this a video good is I wanted to set up some hydration trackers. Um, let's see. So I have my little hydration trackers and I'm gonna cut them out and plop them down on the page. I really want to update these hydration tracker stickers, um, but that's it. That is the entire spread, and I'm going to head off to work right now. I'm thinking that I want to do the run when I get home from work, so that's going to be around 5 or 6 p.m. Probably going to stretch right before that. Hopefully, I would have hit my two liters by the time that I start running. Uh, I'm going to try to drink a liter on my way up to Riverside and then probably drink a liter on the way down um, if I don't drink a liter while I'm there. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out this video. Good luck on your fitness programs this week. Good luck on your fitness journey. Um, remember, persistence, not perfection. Don't forget to hydrate and don't forget to hit the trails. Happy planning. Bye.